Now that we've got our macro to import the file and manipulate the data, we're ready to actually append this data to another file called orders. So what I want to do first of all is let's save the import file. So I'm going to the import file and I'm just hitting the save button on the quick access toolbar. So my code is saved. Now what I want to do is click on the import file sub procedure and run this. So I'm going to press the key F5 and I'm just going to bring in the November 2000 file. So I'll open that. Now I'll go to the Fill Labels sub-procedure and I'll press F5 and just populate the data so that's done. And now I'll go to Add Dates sub-procedure in my Visual Basic Editor and I'll press F5 and I'll ask it to put the date the 1st of the 11th 2000 and OK that. So that's all ready to go. This is now ready to be appended to another file. So at this point I'd like to record another macro. So from the Developers tab in the Code group I'm going to click the Record Macro button and I'd like to name this macro Append Database. Again I'm not worried about shortcut keys and descriptions and that will become obvious why um, later on. So I'm just going to click OK. Now what I want to do at this point in time is select A1 even though it is selected just so that it's recorded and there's the statement there in my Visual Basic Editor. And what I'd like to do now is actually delete the first row because when I append this to the database I don't need to append the first row because that will already be in the database. And in actual fact what I might do is just best fit column A while I can and then I'll delete row 1, so I'll just right click row 1 and I'll delete that. Now I want to click on A1 and select the current region, so I'm just going to press Control asterisk to select all the data. Um, I'd then like to copy this data, so I'll press Control c so that's taken a copy. And I'd like to open up the file called Orders, which is the one I want to append this data to. So I'll just go to File in the ribbon, and I'll go Open, and there's a file in here called Orders, and open that file. So here it is here. Now what I want to do is quickly get to the bottom of this list, so I'll press Control down arrow to get to the bottom, and then just hit the down arrow key one more time to get into A3302. This is where I want to paste the data, so I'll just click from the Home tab, I'll just click Paste, and let's put the data into this particular file, which is great. Now, this particular range here, and now the addition of this data here, needs to be named Database. So I want to name the range. The quickest way, I think, is probably to press Control Asterisk to select the new range, and then you can press the key combination Control F3, but for some of you on Citrix that's not going to work. So I'll go the long way. If I go to Formulas in the ribbon and I go to the Name Manager, I can see that the name database has been applied, but it stopped at G3301. And so this needs to be extended for the fact that I've added more data. So I'm going to hit this little red arrow and I'm just going to click probably in in A1 and go Control Shift right arrow and down arrow so that it goes not just to 3301 but now it goes to 3479 and I'll hit the little red button to go back and I'll click the tick and that will redefine the named range database now refers to A1 to G3479 instead of G3301 and I'll close that. Okay. What I'd now like to do is close the orders file and I don't want to save until I know that this is absolutely working perfectly. So I'm just going to go to the file tab in the ribbon and choose close. And it asks me to save, I'll say don't save. All right. I'll then click on A1 and I'll stop recording. So I'll go to the developers tab and stop recording. Done. Okay, so here's my code over here.